So here in this lesson, we're going to have a look at how we add basic titles in Final Cut Pro. The first thing you need to do um, is make sure you have a, an edit on your timeline or a timeline set up. And then what you'll see up here on the top left is your library. And there's a couple of other options that we have up here for viewing the photo and audio sidebar and the titles and generators sidebar. And it's the titles and generators sidebar that we want to come into to find our titles. So you can see we've got two sections here, our titles for adding titles and our generators for adding backgrounds or different film effects. And we're going to focus here on the, the titles. Now there's a couple different ways we can search through our titles. We can either go through the different sections that we have here. And what you'll see in your version of Final Cut Pro is a slightly different list to mine. I've got some other groups of titles in here listed because I created my own titles, which is something you can do in Apple Motion for Final Cut Pro 10, but that's something to come into a little bit later. We're just gonna have a look at the basic titles here. So once we've gone into a section here, we can hover over our titles and we'll get a basic preview um, of what that title would look like as we scrub through it. So we've got our 3D titles here. We're gonna go into our bumpers and openers here and we're looking for the basic title. So this is a very basic title that you can work with in Final Cut Pro. And actually you can do a lot of good stuff with this basic title by modifying the font face, by layering it with other titles. And in particular, if you're keen to just learn one application, you can do a lot of that custom animation of titles within Final Cut Pro 10. But how to add a title to the timeline. So there's two ways we can add it to the timeline, the same as a video clip. Once we've got our title selected, then we can click and drag it down and insert it either at the front of our edit or between uh, two clips, depending on where we want to add it. And then we've got a couple of different options for modifying the title text. So once we've got our title selected here and make sure your playhead is hovering over the title, the basic title doesn't have any animation as do the, the other titles in Final Cut Pro 10. And the first thing you'll want to do is modify the text of your title. So we're going to come up to the viewer here where we can see the title and if you don't see uh, the title highlighted with this text option over here, it may be that you've actually come into the type or the video parameters for that particular clip up in the inspector. And if you don't see the inspector at all, then just come to window, show in workspace, and make sure you've got inspector checked because you will need that to modify your titles because you will need that to modify your titles. Now, if we come up here, we can highlight this if we want to. Um, sometimes you'll have multiple bits of text in your title and we'll look at that in a second um, and you'll need to highlight each element of that title in order to change it. So here we can highlight the main element here which is the, the only one. Come up to our inspector here, highlight the text and we'll replace this with San Pancho. And the text in Final Cut Pro 10 doesn't wrap so we have to add line breaks if we want to move to the next line. So in here we have a couple different options. If we come down to the bottom here and start to change the size of our type. It's going to change the size of everything. If we scroll up a little and highlight one individual line, we can modify that line on its own. So we have all the basic elements and I'm just going to expand this out a little bit so we can see a bit more information under our titles here. So we have all the, all the important information for the titles that we'd want to modify. So things like line spacing, all caps, options for drop shadows and stuff like that. If you scroll down the bottom, you can see we've got lots and lots of different options for our typefaces. And a lot of these options as well, things like drop shadows and 3D text, we can add um, at a later stage. So if we scroll up here, and um, we've also got some styles for our type. So if we click here, we can go to our 2D styles and you can see we've got different styles that we can add for our type. So because I had San Pancho highlighted, it only modified that particular text. So if I come to the next line and we'll choose the minimal option. So we can have one piece of text bold and one in this minimal style. And I'll just grab my first line of type here. And you can see it's turned on some different options when we've selected that style. So it's turned on the all caps and it's changed the font that we're using here as well. And we can increase the size of that. So there's a lot of things to play around with here. And um, the text is aligning to the center. So if we modify the alignment, it's actually gonna to align to the center point of that box, either right aligned or left aligned or centrally aligned, which may become important at certain points of what you're doing. Now, if we highlight both these lines, um, we can go to our line spacing and we can move these a little close together. We can select the different lines of this and scroll down 
and under the face options, this is where we have those basic options for things like color, uh, the opacity, so the transparency, and also the blur of that type as well. So if we come to the color option here, we can change the, the color of our type. So we'll go for a nice rich orange and we can scroll back up and select the second line and we'll set this as a kind of ocean blue. So that's one way of adding a title at the beginning of your video here. Now, as I mentioned before, some of the other titles have a build on effect. So basically it's building the title on with different animated elements. So let's have a look at one of those. So if we come to our build in out titles here, and we'll have a look at one of the simpler ones here. So we'll come for the assembler right at the start. So if we drag this down to the timeline and have a look at this, when we play it through, it animates on in the first second or so. And we've got these different elements of type to modify. So when you're modifying type like this, we don't instantly get the text, uh, the edit text options up here at the top. We just get uh, these options for the, the overall type that's being used. So to, to modify this, um, we need to actually select the individual elements of this. So you can see I can select title. So I can type in San and I can come to my subtitle. And we'll just fill this up. And if you're working with a title like this and you want to not have all these different elements, then you can just leave one blank. So we can just leave that blank. It's still there, but obviously we won't see it in the animation. So now if we play this through, you can see we have this animated sequence coming on. So different options for selecting those different type elements. And that one which we left blank is still there. So we can play this through. And you can see the animation in there has a little bit of blur in there. So we've got some blurring happening as that type animates on. And this is all created in Apple Motion. So it's really actually quite easy to create these types of animation in motion if you have a knowledge of something like after effects then you're going to find apple motion really easy to get used to to create these types of titles so the other thing to mention here as well is that the background of each of these titles is transparent so if i just hold down the alt key and move this above my video here so the alt just creates a copy of that you can see i've now got my title above the video it has that transparency automatically built in so sometimes with video in the background you'll want to dial it down a bit so that it doesn't uh, overwhelm the title. You can see it's getting a bit busy here. One of the simplest ways of doing this is to drop down the opacity and we still have the video playing in the background but then the title kind of overlaying nicely on top. And when we have titles on top of our video we can also use transitions as well. So if we come to our basic transitions over here on the right hand side. We'll come to our dissolves and we'll just add a cross dissolve at the beginning and end. So now our title fades in, the basic title, and we'll shorten this a little bit. And then it fades out at the end. So that's how to add a basic title and also how to work with some of the titles that have different elements in them. And we'll move on to have a look at some of these other types of title where we can drop images or video into parts of those titles a little later on.